This institute has received a rating of 3.8 stars out of 5 from students on Shiksha.com. First, let's check out the placements where the students have rated it 4 stars. In 2023, a total of 199 offers were extended by 51 companies, resulting in approximately 80% of the batch getting placed. The highest package stood at 32 LPA, which was 38% less than that offered in the year prior. Moreover, the average package figure stayed more or less flat, moving from 12 LPA in 2022 to 11.1 .1 LPA in 2023. Interestingly, these figures lag behind those of other NITs with lower rankings such as Bhopal and Goa. Companies that were part of the campus placement drive included the likes of LNT, Wipro, and Infosys. The predominant roles offered were of consultant, software development engineer, product engineer, data analyst, web developer, and hardware engineer. For internships, students say that college aids in providing internships to deserving candidates. NIT Meghalaya offers a total of five BTEC specializations with admission requiring a minimum of 75% in 10 plus 2, along with competitive JE main scores. Interestingly, a look at the closing cutoffs of 2023 revealed that securing admission mission to the less ranked NIT Agartala is more challenging compared to NIT Meghalaya. A total of four-year course fee amounts to 8.22 lakh. This includes the hostel fee of roughly 3.17 lakh. The overall program fee is slightly higher than that of NIT Agartala and Silchar. With the fee structure and average salary expectancy, the institute is offering an ROI of 135%. The college has received a four-star rating by students for value for money. Now switching gears to infrastructure, it has been rated 3.4 stars. This is because Currently, it's functioning from a temporary campus at Shillong. However, the institute is well connected by rail road and air routes. The permanent campus is currently under construction at Sohra Cherapunji and is expected to be operational by 2025. As per students, the classrooms in this institute are equipped with LCD projectors and interactive electronic boards, but are not that spacious. A compact library housing all necessary books operates during specified hours on weekdays. The institute is equipped with a state-of-the-art language laboratory to train students. Since this NIT is operating from a temporary campus, some of the facilities here are not up to the mark, such as the labs which are small and offer basic facilities. The hostels are spread in the various parts of the city. As the hostels are in different rented buildings, they differ in the facilities offered. But transport services are provided from the campus to the hostels and back for the convenience of all students. Students share that the institute lacks sports and gaming facilities. Medical facilities are good with a separate department for them. A large security force is deployed on the campus at all times. This makes the overall campus safe and secure. Speaking of faculty, students have given them a rating of 4.2 stars and shared that the faculty to student ratio is good. Faculty members are very helpful, qualified and knowledgeable. Some of them hail from abroad, contributing to a diverse learning environment. There is a 75% mandatory attendance criteria as well. The passing criterion is set at 5 CGPA with a requirement to score a minimum of 30 out of 100 marks in interim exams and an overall of 70 out of 200 marks. Through Institute's Technology-Enabled Learning Center, faculty members of NIT Meghalaya and neighboring institutes collaborate to develop content and contribute directly to national initiatives like NPTEL and SWAM. The Center for International Relations encourages students to participate in exchange programs through foreign internships. Currently, the institute is engaged in approximately 15 sponsored and consultancy projects in collaboration with government and top private organizations. Numerous startup projects are in progress cementing the institute's position in the innovation and entrepreneurship sector. Finally, moving on to campus life, more than 10 technical, cultural and sports clubs are there conducting events throughout the year. The annual Tech Fest and Cultural Fest are the most awaited events. Now, finally, the rankings. In 2023, the institute stands at 72nd position in NRF, losing 13 spots in just two years. So this was the review of NIT Meghalaya. For more details about the institute and to check out thousands of courses and colleges, visit Shiksha.com. We would also like to hear from you. So drop the comment below, like, share and subscribe to our channel.